This morning, we're learning more about what's being called the deadliest hot air balloon accident in U.S. history. 16 people were killed in Lockhart, Texas this weekend. Two News reporter Kelly King has information on the pilot in this developing story. Brooke, according to police, the pilot had been arrested in Missouri in 2000 for drunk driving. The BBB had also warned people about doing business with him after complaints about his company when he flew in St. Louis. The pilot was 49 year old Alfred Skip Nichols and had a commercial certificate to fly and ran the heart of Texas hot air balloon rides. His friend describes him as a great pilot. Investigators say the balloon hit power lines before crashing into a pasture Saturday morning. Witnesses describe the site like a fireball. This morning, we're starting to learn more about those 16 victims. Two of them were newlyweds from San Antonio. The victim's brother says they were posting pictures on social media up until that accident. Early in the morning, we started getting um, you know, texts and phone calls and other social media things. Realizing that that uh, they were gonna they were gonna take the the balloon ride, it's pretty haunting. Um, the f the photos really sort of kind of continued until uh, just literally a couple of minutes before they the reported uh, time of the incident. Now, there were reports of foggy weather in that area at the time of the flight, and the balloon took off 20 minutes later than expected, but we don't know what caused that delay. The FAA and NTSB are still investigating that crash. Kelly King, 2 News Today, working for you.